Thursday still carries a 50% chance that you'll want that umbrella handy. Otherwise, partly sunny skies, meaning you'll see more clouds than sunshine. And that won't necessarily make for the world's greatest viewing opportunity for the Perseids, which do peak Thursday night into early morning hours on Friday. But I know you diehards are going to give it a try anyways. You want to look to the northeast shortly after midnight. I suggest getting outside like around 11 o'clock, allowing your eyes to adjust to the dark skies. Give it a good 30 minutes, maybe an hour to do so. And then look for Perseus. If you've got one of those apps on your smartphone that helps you find the constellations, you're in really good shape. It will look as though those meteors are emanating from there. Now, as far as the viewing for the early morning hours Friday, partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. Honestly, not the greatest. Midnight through 2 a.m., there is a 30% chance for rain. Drops off to 20% chance 4 a.m. through 6 a.m. So that might be a little bit better opportunity and temperatures in the mid to upper 70s during the best viewing. For your seven-day forecast, we drop off to a 20 20% chance for rain Friday, 20% Saturday, as well as a 10% chance on Sunday. So we'll do a little bit of drying out here and some warming up by the weekend. We'll be back to the upper 90s to near 100.